What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 7 prediction video. Today I will be answering some of the questions you want to know about this season and the upcoming episodes this season, so let's get started right away. Targaryen Wolf said, so do I understand this correctly? Sansa wanted Jon to murder Elise Karstark and Ned Umber, to punish them and demonstrate to all the Northern Lords that treason is treason. Just like Pycelle wanted Sansa murdered because of her father's mistakes. Just like the way Joffrey was publicly punishing Sansa because of Rob's actions during the War of the Five Kings. Sansa wants to do the exact same thing to these kids, right? In my opinion, no. She did not want to do the same. Sansa did not want the Karstark and Umber children murdered. She only wanted their castles and lands taken away from them because their houses were fighting for Ramsay instead of Jon. Sansa did want them punished, but I do not believe she wanted them killed. League Replays asked, do you think the Night King might have a connection with Jon Snow? Yes, I absolutely think the Night King has a connection with Jon Snow. I think the Night King has a connection with all of the Starks. I believe the Night King is a Stark. Not only do I think he is a Stark, but I believe he's another King of Winter. And when the Starks say winter is coming, they don't only just mean that the winter weather is coming, but it also means the King of Winter is coming, from the lands of always winter. And the King of Winter will need to be killed at Winterfell because that's where Winter has fallen before. That's why the Night King took such an interest in Jon Snow at Hardhome. And that's why the Night King can share green dreams or visions with Bran Stark, because he is a Stark. And he can probably sense them just like the Direwolves have an internal sense and connection with the other Stark children. I think it's all connected, and we're going to learn more about this before it all ends. Jams Bams asked, Do you think Theon will fully redeem himself? Or could he end up dying? Or both? Yes, I believe Theon will fully redeem himself. I think Theon might end up killing his uncle Euron Greyjoy. Theon's uncle Euron wants to kill him and his sister, and he's not going to stop until he has an opportunity to do this. And as of right now, it doesn't look like Theon would stand a chance against his uncle, but I kind of think that's why it makes the most sense for Theon to be the one to stop him. But if Theon doesn't kill Euron, then I think Jaime Lannister will kill Euron. And if that's the case, then I think Theon will redeem himself by sacrificing himself for one of the Starks, just like he was going to do for Sansa. When Theon and Sansa was hiding from Ramsay's hounds, Theon told Sansa to stay hidden, and Theon stepped out in front of the men to give himself up so Sansa could escape. That could have been the end of Theon's redemption arc right there, but it wasn't. Theon is still heavily involved in the plot for a reason. Theon is back in the heart of Westeros with Daenerys Targaryen. And before it's all said and done, he's going to do something courageous, even if it means sacrificing his own life. He may have a few more cowardly moments still, but he will step up to the plate when he is needed the most. How Stark the North Remembers asked, Do you think we get both battles of Casterly Rock, the sacking of High Garden, and the Field of Fire 2.0 in Episode 2? No, we are not going to see the Field of Fire 2.0 until Episode 4 or 5. The Field of Fire battle will be with the Dothraki and at least one of Daenerys Targaryen's dragons. And the director who filmed these scenes was Matt Shakeman. And the episodes he was scheduled to film were episode 4 and 5. Bob wants to know, what happened to Edmure Tully? After the Blackfish was taken down, Jaime and Bronn went back to the twins to celebrate. And Walter Frey told Jaime Lannister that he had Edmure put back in the cells. Walter Frey said he couldn't kill Edmure because it would give the family a bad name. And I was kind of hoping Arya was going to free Edmure, but since they didn't show us that, I can only assume he has been written out of the show for now. If Arya didn't free him from the cells, then that's where he should still be. GOT and BTS High Class Trash said, This is kind of a weird question, but I'm just curious. I want to know your opinion. Do you think there is a chance that Cersei and Jaime will die together? Something like we were born together and we will die together. Yes, I think there is a very high chance they die together. And you said it yourself, they were born together, so they could die together. In the television show, Jamie may be the one to kill Cersei. And if he does, he may want to die in the arms of the woman he loves, just like he said he wanted to do. But I have a feeling there's going to come a time, Jamie won't love her at all anymore. And Brienne could be the woman he loves, whose arms he dies in. I would prefer if Jamie would survive and help out during the War for the Dawn, but there is definitely a chance they die together. A very high chance in my opinion. Steven said, A bit of a noob question. I get that John stressed that dragon glass is needed for making weapons out of them for everyone, including women and children, to fight the White Walkers. But there are so many more whites to fight than White Walkers. 
So do the Dragon Glass weapons apply to fighting the Whites as well as the White Walkers? Or can Whites be stopped with non-conventional weapons that aren't made of Dragon Glass? Given how widely the Whites fought at Hardhome, I can't see how any weapons made of Dragon Glass or not, wielded by women and children, is going to stop these Whites. Alright, let's start back at the top. Dragon Glass weapons do not kill Whites, they only kill White Walkers. There is a big difference between the two. The Whites need to be killed with fire. That's the only way you can completely stop the Whites. Even if you chop the whites up into pieces, they can still kill you. You gotta use fire and only fire. The reason why John is so concerned with getting dragon glass is because the white walkers are very hard to kill. The white walkers have superhuman strength and they are amazing fighters. Now I know there might be more whites, but there could potentially be over 90 white walkers out there. And only having a few Valyrian swords isn't enough. Craster gave 99 of his sons to the Night King, and we have only seen a couple of them killed. Sam killed one, John killed one, and Mira killed one. The most White Walkers we have ever seen at one time was 14. When the Night King turned the baby into a White Walker, there was 12 White Walkers standing in the back, plus the Night King and plus the baby. So there is 14 in that scene alone. And since Craster gave up 99 of his sons, we could see a hell of a lot more. If John can get enough Dragon Glass for everyone, the chances of killing the Night King are a lot higher. And if you can stop the Night King, then you can stop the Whites. The Night King is warging all of these Whites, and if you kill the Night King and shut off his brain, all of the Whites will probably deactivate and drop dead again. John wants to stop the Creator, the Animator. John probably doesn't know how many White Walkers there are, too. For all he knows, there could be thousands of them. You gotta remember, John knows nothing. And I apologize to this next person because I cannot read your name, but this person asked, What is the name of Arya's direwolf? The answer is Nymeria. Next question, Ida asked, Since in the first episode John said he wants every man, woman, and child from 10 to 60 training to fight, does this mean Sansa too? Do you think we will ever see her with Arya train in the future? That's a good question. I'm assuming when John said that he did mean everyone, and it's kind of hard to picture Sansa fighting someone with a sword, but when the Night King comes, everyone better have a weapon in their hand. It wouldn't be right to sit on your ass while everyone else is doing all the work. John was pretty serious when he said everyone needs to fight. Arya could definitely help Sansa, but Sansa already has a great swordsman right by her side. Sansa could have Brienne train with her and get her ready, but I do not think we're going to see Sansa train in the show though. I'd be pretty surprised if they spent time showing that. If Sansa's going to pick up a sword anytime soon, it better be used to kill Littlefinger. Huel's question is, do you think Cersei will actually marry Euron when he returns with her gifts? If so, do you think Euron will kill Cersei on their wedding night? I don't think they're actually going to get married, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did get married, but I doubt it. But I do think there is a chance he might kill her. The type of person Euron is, he is capable of killing anyone. And some of the book text points to this. So I give it a 50-50 chance with both of those questions. If Cersei is very happy with his gifts and the mountain lets him get close enough, they could start a physical relationship and then get married. Or this could get him close enough to kill her. I could see either one, but I wouldn't bet money on it. Tyler asked, Do you think Jon will learn about his parentage next episode? No, I don't think so. They're most likely going to continue to tease this for a while. Some other people in the show might find out this season, but I don't think Jon's going to find out until season 8. John is going to leave Winterfell next episode, and he might not be back until next season. He has a lot of traveling to do in the next six episodes. Ajala's question is, do you think there is any possibility that at the end of it all, John and the Dragon Queen will get to rule the Seven Kingdoms together? No, I don't really think so. That sounds like too much of a happy ending, and I don't think there's going to be a happy ending when it's over. At least George said there wouldn't be. George said it would be a bittersweet ending. Now Dan and Dave might want to do what they want, but I think one of them will die in the end. And maybe even both of them die in the end. I think we're going to lose almost all of the cast members in Season 8 when the final war is over. But that's just my opinion. Neil asked, Do you think we're going to see Hodor marching in the Army of the Dead? I really don't know now. When I saw those three giants marching with the dead, I honestly thought to myself we could see just about anything reanimated now. Hodor, Summer, Ice Spiders, Polar Bears, we might see all kinds of shit. But I would be surprised if we did see Hodor, but I'm not going to count anything out now. RGIMBEO2 asked, When will Braun show up? I think we're going to see Braun in the next episode. Jamie will be leaving for High Garden very soon, and Braun is going to go with him. I think we're going to see Braun in either episode 2 or 3 for sure. 
Sherlock's bitch wants to know how Sam will cure Jorah's grayscale. It looks like Sam might use some dragonglass to cure it. Dragonglass might not be the only thing he uses, but dragonglass will probably be needed to cure him somehow. One of the books Sam was reading mentioned dragonglass and cure on the same page, so it's probably going to be in that direction. Miss Piggy asked, where is Gendry? I think Gendry went back to King's Landing to be honest with you. After Davos set him free, he probably went back to being a blacksmith. It's the only thing he really knows how to do, and the man's gotta eat. I think he's been in King's Landing smithing for someone else this entire time. Bongo Drum said, How big do you think Nymeria's wolf pack is? They ain't limited by CGI, so hopefully huge. That's a pretty good question. I'm gonna say around a dozen at the most. It would be awesome if there was over a hundred in the pack, but my guess would be about 10 to 12 or less. Cat asked, which of the sand snakes do you think will die, and how do you think it might happen? I am curious. In my opinion, I think all of them are going to die. Euron is going to kill some of them out on the sea, and then the mountain is going to kill the rest. I know some people want to see Braun and Tyene live happily ever after, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think Dorne is done. Well, I think this is a good spot to end the video. That was about 20 questions in this one. I want to thank all of you for leaving your comments on my last video. I really appreciate that. And I also want to thank all of you for watching today's video and my supporters on Patreon. I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you down below. Bye.